Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about loudspeaker cables. Uh, this may be uh, something that is not normally done and uh, some of you may, may balk and say how can you actually hear a difference? Well I can only tell you what I heard and the reason for the review and that's why I'm doing it. Uh, I think the key here is how resolving is your system. If it's not resolving enough you won't hear or you may not hear a difference. Um, but I will show you my system and what I've done and the show notes will explain uh, hopefully a little more in detail what, what I have here and what I've done. Uh, so pay attention to the show notes as well. Um, but beginning with the image on the left, uh, this is from Blue Jeans. Uh, it is a Belden cable. It is what they call ultrasonically welded uh, banana, uh, uh, the banana, uh, plugs have been welded to the speaker wire and uh, it uh, is impressive for its price point um, and I don't know if I mentioned the the price was uh, a five foot pair for $85 as of the time of this video and then the image in the center is of a uh, AudioQuest Rocket 11 um, terminated by Audio Advisor. As you can see here and it is uh, was solder terminated and then on the uh, far right I have Atlas cable from the UK which is uh, cold welded I believe is how they term it uh, and it is uh, for 240 for a two meter pair uh, but all three would be considered budget cables and I have to uh, give praise to the Atlas as being the most uh, resolving, most transparent uh, focus, definition, all of that seems to be very apparent in this cable. Um, second would be the the Belden and I give third to the uh, AudioQuest and it may be simply because it was uh, soldered where these other two were not. That I, I don't know. I'm not a, uh, you know, I don't know the science of cabling, of soldering, and the, of course the quality of the copper that is used in the wire it, it should be an aud make an audible difference, and, and I'm sure it does. But, you know, it, all, all of the details matter, and it's just a question of how you put it together in your system for the end result. So, um, moving on, uh, this is the system that I used for comparing the cables. Um, the speakers I uh, had bought just this past year are uh, Acoustic Energy Mark II or Acoustic Energy 100 Mark IIs. Um, highly revealing, uh, great with micro details. Uh, I've never heard speakers th at this price range that do what these do. Um, and when I bought them, luckily I got them at, for $399. Uh, I believe they're $499 now. Uh, from a dealer in Florida where I believe is the only importer that I'm, well, there may be another one, but the only one that I know of, and I'll, uh, should have that in the show notes. Um, and of course I'm using, uh, wood pellet. Uh, I don't know if it's lead shot in here or wood pellets that are in the, uh, that I put inside the, uh, loudspeaker stands here. And then I'm using, um, uh, wall putty, uh, to adhere the enclosure, the loudspeaker to the speaker stand. Then I have the uh, Ragnarok 2, which is about 60 watts a side, I believe. Uh, and it's uh, an incisive type of sound, uh, still very clear, transparent. Um, I have the Bifrost 2. Um, uh, it mates, obviously mates well with this amp. Um, I still have tried to play around with uh, uh, the R2Rs, but I keep, there's things about the R2Rs that I don't like still. They just, the, the upper register, the treble, always sounds like it's glossed over. It sounds more opaque. And that's why I haven't, uh, haven't kept my R2Rs that I tried in the past. They just, you know, they were musical. I'll give you that, but they were missing some uh, upper air transparency and maybe I needed to spend a lot more and I don't have that kind of money. So anyway, and then I have a Raspberry Pi here. 
Uh, I'm using a iFi uh, Purifier 3, which is like a reclocker noise reduction device that I use between the Pi and the DAC. It does seem to clean it up a little bit, and that's why I have it. Then I have a wired for sound reclocker that I'm using uh, for the optical of the TV going into the DAC or going into the wired for sound and then going to the DAC, um, just to you know try to get the cleanest uh, sound from the from the, the optical. And I am using a glass type of optical cable as well. Uh, a lot of this will be in the show notes, so I recommend you reading that. And then uh, this is a Yamaha CD player. Uh, that I'm going in coaxial into the wired for sound, which I, there's a switch there to switch between coax and optical. And then I've got rail subs here, which obviously you need for these smaller loudspeakers because you won't get the lower octaves, but uh, it comes together quite well. Uh, just very impressed with the overall sound. Uh, and then power condition down below, which I'll go into with the other images here. Uh, moving on. Here's the uh, the uh, mounting putty I used, I think Loctite. And then of course there's a Gorilla mounting putty. And then the familiar, to some of you, Blue Tack, which would cost uh, a lot bit, a lot more than uh, these other two. So I don't see the need for spending money on Blue Tack when you have something that I imagine is j j the same thing or very similar for a lot less. So. You know, that's up for you to decide. And then just an image of the putty adhered to the loudspeaker and stand. Then moving on to the power conditioners. Uh, I think it's the company is TLP or TPL. It'll be in the show notes. Uh, this was the uh, an older model that I bought at the time uh, in a PVC because that's where I was trying to save money. Uh, basically having all just my power amps and the... Um, rail subs on the lower one and then source material components on the upper and uh, uh, it is audible and that's why I have them here it just gives a like a lower noise noise floor you just hear a blacker a darker background uh, you know it just eliminates the uh, I don't know how to explain it. it just sounds more dynamic just cleaner just cleans up the AC and um, Anyway, I've, I've been happy with how this all sounds now. I will admit this looks tacky and, you know, I the priority was to get the best sound. Uh, at some point, I may rewire this and set it up differently. But for now, this is the way I have it. So anyway, this was intended to share with you and uh, I hope I can help some of you as well. So uh, thanks for watching.